Welcome to another video of Word of Engineering. Well, um, I've been getting some uh, current fault or uh, trips on my RCD at home, and uh, I thought uh, I can put a video on YouTube and um, to show how to do a root cause analysis and how to narrow down the issue and find where we're getting uh, where most typically people get this sort of. Uh, uh, problem with the ground fault or uh, the RCD tripping. Well, um, as I said, in Australia, um, they call these um, sort of uh, circuit breakers uh, RCD, which stands for uh, residual current uh, device, uh, or we also call it safety switch as well. In some other countries, they've called it, um, call it, uh, I think, uh, GFCI. G F C I, which you stands see. for uh, Ground Fault Current Interrupter, or just Ground uh, Ground Fault Interrupter. So, basically, this device, um, because in the past many people got electrocuted and uh, died from getting from the electrocution, so people started uh, putting together something called RCD, um, so would help uh, save lives. And uh, and how people uh, get hurt with electricity, as electricity has, you know, it has two components. Uh, we have um, voltage and we have uh, current. And what kills people in electrocution is the current. As you know, the voltage, uh, it can be tens of thousands of volt and it wouldn't kill you. And that's how uh, tasers uh, work. They, they usually, uh, the voltage they apply is about 50 uh, K, uh, kV, so kilovolt. And people don't die. And because the current is limited into those. And these RCDs, what they do, they monitor the, if we have, uh, active line and neutral and we, let's say we have uh, ground as well these RCDs monitor the current and look for any sort of imbalance in the imbalance in the system so if there is any sort of leakage from um, our active uh, to ground uh, smallest leakage the RCD will detect it and will trip the um, unit uh, or uh, the electricity uh, and this current uh, they did this, some study to find out like what sort of current is uh, kind of required to kill a person or would kill a person it's um, just above I think uh, 30 milliamp or, or I think 40 to 50 milliamp but these RCDs work uh, around 30 milliamp so if anything to, I don't know, 10 to 30 milliamp of current uh, leakage would trip it. Anything to, around 30, that's an average. Some RCDs to RCDs manufacturers are different. And the breaking should happen very quickly because obviously you don't want to get electrocuted for uh, a few minutes or so. And that typical value is about uh, 30 milliseconds. 20 to 30 millisecond. So the RCDs look for current imbalance in the system. If they detect anything greater than uh, 10, let's say, uh, different different manufacturers are different, 10 milliamp, they will break the circuit, have an open circuit, and within within this time period, that's the way they should operate. Now, in uh, Systems um, at how different houses and domestic as well. Um, in Australia, the minimum requirement is, is having one RCD in new houses, but in some other places, so, such as uh, US or maybe UK, um, the RCDs are embedded in power plugs. So, if that is your um, power plug, that's Australian <laughs> um, plug. Um, there, sh there should be a, like a test switch, test switch there, 
uh, test switch there to test the uh, RCD, which is inside the power plug. So every power plug or the major power plugs, uh, they have RC to test it um, every often, and um, the RCD is in there. Now, at my place, I've been getting this trip, um, and I have narrowed down, I know where the problem is, but if you don't know uh, where this tripping happens, uh, places I would recommend to start. First, start from outside. So, I would say from all, you have to check if you have any extension leads. Extension leads. If they are li lying uh, in a garden uh, somewhere that uh, rain and water can get into them. So, water inside extension lead uh, could cause uh, current leakage. So if you when you sec secure them, after that you gotta look still your still outside. All the power points, power points um, that are outside or you know the weatherproof one because these power points they have a life, and what uh, affect their life is the obviously um, sun or you may say the UV, uh, break the, um, all the insulation, everything, and uh, um, the IP rating of it, you may say, and obviously water and moisture. Moisture would, um, um, will this thing will age and deteriorate. So test the power points. If they, uh, any, any sign of uh, um, nowhere and um, or any sort of water uh, water ingress or leakage. That's another one. This third one I would suggest still you're outside, check the lights. You know, in a shed you might have a light somewhere hang, hanging there and uh, water dripped inside, you know, and it's, if it goes inside the um, um, connections or ever closer, that would cause a uh, trip. To your RCD, and the reason that I'm um, looking, uh, going through all the uh, possible scenarios, because with with some uh, or I would say most of uh, um, topologies that people uh, install the circuit breakers and switchboard at the domestic level, they only put one uh, RCD. So if um, this is your MCBs, all the circuit breakers. Here, they only put one RCD incoming, and so that means if any of these light, power, power, you know, power, would uh, you have leakage in any of these, you would trip that. So you don't know where is it coming from. That's why you have to start. Um, um, from outside, which is most probably is there, and then work your way down. And there might be other things which I'm missing, but after that, I would uh, come inside and look for some of appliances, um, such as anything that has water in it. I would say dishwasher. And washing machine. So these uh, appliances, if you can see, these appliances, uh, um, again, one could be uh, because of design, design issues, after a while, uh, they will get these sort of uh, faults. Second, could be um, vibration, um, and uh, heat and yeah from these sort of things would cause um, uh, current leakage now in my case um, I know it was the washing machine I didn't know to I didn't I didn't need to go through all these points because whenever I would turn on my washing machine it would through my CD and that's the sort of uh, um, 
thing I have at my home. So it was pain in the neck. Um, okay. So, um, other thing I would uh, recommend is at least the paper um, to sometimes when they uh, rewire houses for extend when you have an extension to your house you know you renovate it and they rewire it um, they don't um, follow those electricians they don't follow um, you know, the rules use that there in Australia the rule is I think it's all around the board the active should be so you have your power plug power points the active should be on the left that's your active that's the neutral and this is ground now if the electrician connects these two the other round obviously all your stuff would work because they see though <laughs> but um, in some appliances because of the internal circuitry and the design this would cause an issue this would uh, uh, trip your RCD so that's another way to check it. There are some sort of um, uh, RCD testers which you just um, plug it into the um, power points and it tests, tests that point, will tell you it's healthy or not. You can use those if you have any of those handy. Um, so that's another point I would uh, recommend for you to do uh, during the uh, root cause analysis or narrowing down this video. And my next video, I'm gonna going to open the dishwasher, I'm oh, sorry, the washing, ma washing machine and uh, try to find the fault and issue, see what's wrong with it and uh, take you through that uh, to fix it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.